This is the Forge Digital Twin demo. And in this video, I'd like to summarize the features that we've built into it. So let's start with the sidebar here. You can see we have three main sections, performance, maintenance, and procurement. Uh, in the performance section, uh, we wanted to show a couple of examples of some real-time data that you might want to show uh, in context of your, of your model, either as a whole or maybe some real-time data related to individual parts. Um, in this case, all the data here is simulated. Um, so we can see, for example, in the general tab, we, you might want to show something like engine speed or some measured vibrations. Um, and again, uh, this is a um, very simple uh, 2D charting, um, just to get an idea. In the part tab, um, here's where maybe you would want to show a real-time data for a specific part. You can see in this case, uh, we're being asked to select a part of the model in the 3D view. So let's do that. Select one part. And here we could show, we, we see some, again, simulated, let's say, temperature in this case of this selected component. In the maintenance tab, this is where uh, you would uh, submit things like maintenance records, issues where, where people could review um, specifications of individual parts, um, things like that. So in the revisions tab, uh, you can see that now the revision history is empty. Uh, so let's create a couple of revision records for our model. Um, at this point, the submit button here is disabled. That's because once again, we need to select one part of the 3D of, of the model in the 3D view. So let's select um, one of them, let's say this one, you can see that the part ID is now available and we can choose status of the revision, provide our name and some description. Now, this record will be stored in a database and persisted so that next time you visit this application, uh, you'll see all the, all the revisions. You can see that we now see our revision here in the history. Um, let's add a couple more. You can see this part is looking bad. And this part is looking okay. So now we have our three uh, maintenance records, let's say. We can see them in the table here. Um, the part number uh, column is interactive. You can click on individual part numbers and have the viewer select them and focus camera on them um, just for quick navigation. And there is a, another feature um, where actually you can imagine later on the list of uh, rev revisions here in the table might be pretty big. Um, and even though we have things like a, a pagination available here, uh, you might still want to filter um, the records in the table. So what you can do is in the 3D view, you can select and isolate one of the parts and when you isolate them only the revisions for that individual part will be visible in the table so this is sort of like to show that you can also go from the 3d view back into the table and let's say filter records in the table based on the state of the forge viewer um, so that's revisions issues are somewhat similar to maintenance revisions you can click on a component in the 3D view, but this time not only do you get the part ID, but also the XYZ position where you specifically clicked on that part. And you can report an issue there. And now that issue is once again available in a table here with part ID being interactive, but you can also activate uh, use this flag icon in a toolbar, the issues extension, to visualize that specific issue directly in the 3D view with your name and the description. And you can later on, you could be adding more uh, rich content to your annotation because it's still it's all HTML. And you can see that the annotation is following the camera, zoom level, and everything. And again, you can filter, you can isolate components in the 3D view to filter the table in the sidebar. Statistics tab, this is where you could show um, aggregated 
data, some statistics, let's say, uh, of, um, in this case, in this example, this could be something like um, aggregated data information about how frequently this individual component was reported as in good shape or bad shape over the last six months. And finally, in the Docs tab, this is uh, where we wanted to show that you can embed additional types of data or content into your web application experience, things like PDFs or uh, 2D sheets in a separate instance of Forage Viewer. So when we select a part in a 3D view, now we could be uh, basically brought into a, a PDF file to a specific page re relevant to that component. We could be showing some um, 2D sheets uh, in another instance of Forge Viewer, and we could have those um, those two uh, pieces of content react to our selection in the 3D view again. So if we select another part, we could go to another page or maybe switch to another uh, drawing in this uh, small viewer instance. In the procurement section, uh, this is again very similar to show that um, here's where you might want to submit uh, purchase orders for individual parts, re replacements. So let's say if we select one part, now we can choose a supplier and let's say this price could be fetched from that supplier's website dynamically so you could see the actual value. Um, and when you click the submit button, you create a new uh, purchase request. And again, that request is now available in this table. Uh, clicking the part ID can take you back to that part. And then the statistics tab, later on, you could show for a selected part, let's say uh, the price over time. So that's the sidebar. And finally, the, the 3D viewer itself, you can see that there's three extra icons in a toolbar. The one that we already mentioned is issues. Uh, the one there that's used to visualize issues reported on individual parts and their specific um, places. The first one is called heat maps. This is an extension that could be used to visualize <clears throat> uh, uh, certain types of data or criteria on individual parts. So let's say that we would want to color code each individual part of this model based on the frequency of issues reported for that part in the last six months. Or let's say that we would want to color code each component based on its time to next scheduled replacement. Or maybe we would want to color code each individual component based on its average cost over some period of time. We also added a, a small option to control the intensity of the highlight. And heat maps. And finally, um, Imagine in some in some situations, we wanted to show that you can also animate individual parts of the 3D content in Forge Viewer. So let's say if we were getting some readings of, let's say, the rotation speed of the main blades here in front, we could enable this extension to read the speed information and apply it here and basically animate the blades based on that reading. And I believe that's, that's all the features.